Hello guys, Earthrack here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do everything that revolves around vertices, cylinders, and volume decals. So this is three things in one tutorial. It may be a little longer than usual, but I think it's all necessary. Now, one thing that I want to teach you guys is how to rotate things, because I did not include that in any of my tutorials yet, but it's very basic. All you do is press R, and it'll rotate, and depending on the view of the 2D grid, it will rotate in different directions. Now, how do you create a cylinder, or this cap, as we're going to call it? Well, all you're going to do is create a brush. Sorry about that. Okay, you have your brush. Giggity goo. Now, how are we going to turn it into a cylinder or a cone? Yes, this is a cone. I know I said it was a cap, but it's actually a cone. And I'll show you how to turn it into a cap later. But either way, what you're going to go to is patch, which is right here, primitives. And there's a lot of things for you guys to mess around with. But for example, we're going to do cylinder. And depending on which view you are looking at, and you create a cylinder, will alter uh, which way it faces, similar to the rotation. Now, uh, you can also just rotate it however you like. Now, for all reality's sake, I want to go over uh, everything about vertices right now. How do we make this extremely round? Because as you can see here, we have a normal one, which you can kind of see if we make this a little bit bigger. We can kind of see that our, the brush that we just transformed into a cylinder doesn't look perfectly round. There's a little bit of corners, which is okay, but if we look at this one, and I'll even go to a 2D grid, it's completely round. How do we do that? Well, you need to do something called vertices. And what we're going to do is we're going to delete this. Now, uh, just keep in mind that the more vertices you add uh, will make it a little bit harder to run. Not all the time, it's just, it depends, okay? Just keep that in mind. So, all you're going to do is you're, you're going to select your object or cylinder, and what you're going to do is you're going to hold shift, and you're going to mess around with the bracket keys. So they are right next to P if you do not uh, know where they are. So, starting bracket is going to make it uh, take away vertices, so it's going to look like this, kind of just blocking crap. But let's say we want it rounder, so you're going to hold shift, and you're going to push close bracket. There we go, we got a little bit rounder. That's the normal size of what we uh, did when we created a cylinder. And let's do it one more time. And there, it's completely round. So that's very, very easy. And it's the same thing with the cones. I mean, sure, you can try to make it look like a round area, and we'll discuss how to uh, access these vertices when in another tutorial. So don't, yeah, don't get confused by this yet. But either way, uh, how do we make this more round? Well, it's the exact same process. Sorry if I'm a little tired. And obviously you can see this has a lot more vertices for you to mess around with. So just be careful. Don't overdo it if you don't need to, but if it's too blocky, just give it one more layer. Just don't keep going because you want it extremely round. Otherwise it's just going to bog up your map. But either way, now we're going to go over one thing which involves cylinders. And that is, what if I want a texture inside the cylinder? Well, it's very simple actually. All you're going to do is you're going to select a cylinder that you have created, and you're going to go up to Patch, and you're going to click Invert. And it also shows you a shortcut right there. So there we go. You now have the inverted texture so if you want inside tubes, now let's say, oh, well, I want it on the inside and outside. Well, you're going to have to make two cylinders, so copy and paste. And then we're going to do an invert on the one we have selected, which is the outside, and bam. We now have our cylinder-looking tube, so you guys can mess around with this. But let's say we want to cap it. Let's say we don't want to look at the inside, We and we're looking this way at it. How do we make it not show it without making another circle. Well, all you're going to do is go to patch and you're going to push cap. It's going to create caps on two ends. If you don't want the one on the other end, just delete it. 
but notice notice that you can still see through it and that's because it has not increased its vertices so there you go we have fixed the vertices you can reapply the texture bam and there you go that pretty much covers uh, cylinders guys uh, let me delete these really quick now we're going to go over volume decals, and if you guys may know, my map consists of a lot of volume decals. And that's not a bad thing, it just helps add detail. So what are volume decals? Well, volume decals are this moss, uh, this graffiti. It's just textures being applied on a wall without making everything really hard uh, to apply. And also you can put it on models which makes it really easy it uh, I'll show you what you can do with it so uh, let's get out of here and let's open up our tutorial radiant and bring that up here so let's say we want to add it on here well you're gonna press B to open up your entity window you're gonna type in decal if you don't want to look for it but either way it's under misc and it's called volume underscore decal drag that onto your map you're gonna get this red box now keep in mind if you're in F7 mode let's get out of game view if you're in F7 mode you're gonna see this uh, own texture meaning it doesn't have a texture applied to it yet but then if you go in F8 you see wow it's not there well notice uh, this arrow that's on it let's go into the 2d grid where you can see it a little bit more and let's drag it over to the one with less vertices. Now, you see this arrow, right? That's pointing towards the player. Let's just imagine that's pointing towards the player. So in that direction, it's looking at you. So that means on the opposite side is where it's being projected. So let's rotate it so that the arrow is facing directly upwards, as if it was looking straight into our souls. And there you go it is now showing on the object and we can apply models on it too let's go ahead and drag a little model in here let's drag a little human because you know he's got some booty on him and see it's even applied to his toes and no matter what you do move it around it will always be there now we're gonna rotate a little bit more and there you go but how do we change the texture well it's the exact same as any old texture what you're going to do is just apply some random texture you want. Uh, not all of them will work, but uh, let's see. See, there you go. Decals applied. But what if you have one, like let's type in blood for a second. What if you have one to where you can't see off the map, or off uh, 2D view, like uh, trying to find one. Doesn't matter. Let's just pretend you can't see this. It's just plain. Well, all you're going to do is go to Textures, Fit Texture, and this is for any single one uh, to make it fit inside the box. So then you can actually see the entire uh, texture that's supposed to be shown. So let's say, bam, that's too small, just fit the texture, and boom, it's fit with the parameters that you have of this box. So uh, let's go ahead and delete this guy. What if we want it bigger? without having to fit all the time. Well, all you gotta do is see these uh, little boxes? These are actually going to change the shape and size of what you want your blood and decals to look like. Now notice, there's two things. What if we have it really small, okay? And let's say I'm putting it on. Uh, no, that's not. There we go. About right here. Notice how it doesn't cover the entire thing. It's because whatever is in this red box is going to show the decal. And there's also another thing that you need to keep in mind is that when you enter this, I don't know if it's in game, but I predict it would be, but uh, when you enter the red box, you can't see the texture anymore. So you need to avoid that from players. So what you're going to do is shrink the box, make it skinnier to whatever direction you're facing. It doesn't matter. So drag it down, doesn't matter where it is, it just has to be in the box. So let's say, okay, you got that problem fixed, but it's not going all the way. We'll just make it a little bit bigger to where it fits your entire surface. And then no matter where you move it around, 
you'll be fine. So that was just a quick introduction to volume decals. I know I sound very tired. I didn't go to bed till uh, 5 a.m. I'm extremely exhausted. I will be sure to post more tutorials. Next will be lighting and volumetric lighting, and then next we'll be porting models into the game. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Please give it a like, a dislike, and comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next one.